and welcome back to my channel april newly me if you are new here but if you're one of my subbies hey to bestie so i got a question as to why i don't do grocery hauls anymore and i honestly couldn't tell you i just stopped doing them for a while so i think i'm gonna do them like maybe once a month so i'm gonna go over to the this is not my groceries this is my spouse's beer collection don't look at that we're gonna go back to the table and i'm gonna show you everything i got i promise you that looks like six dollars worth of groceries and i'm gonna tell you how much I really had to pay okay starting off with the non-food items i got two of these electric charcoal toothbrushes i got one of these for um tony and she liked them she asked to get another one so i was like i'm gonna get one too because i was pretty much in need of a new toothbrush i do not know if this charcoal stuff is making a difference is it making a difference for you tony huh does the charcoal like make a difference for you it does uh i can't i haven't looked into the chemical or, or mechanical reasons for that but i like it better oh, okay so there's your first review on this toothbrush spoken like a true engineer the mechanical a chemical there hasn't i read up on this before and there's not a lot of research of the long-term effects of using charcoal on your teeth but it does whiten it we don't know how our teeth are gonna look 50 years from now but they're gonna be white so i got two of those I got, um, I like to keep paper, ooh, paper plates in my pantry. I like to keep paper plates in my pantry. Um, they don't, they're not for every meal use, but like for a quick lunch or something like that. I like to have these on deck. And these are also my favorite candles. These are the Glade Clean Linen. If you know where to get these in bulk, please let me know. I tried Amazon and they charge like $20,000 for a six pack, which I'm not paying for. Yeah, these are my favorite. Plus, it's a soft, clean scent, so Tony's nose doesn't get irritated. And then, I've never bought this before, but I'm making buffalo wings. And I wanted, I was just, for whatever reason, I've been craving buffalo sauce. So, I got Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. Hopefully, this is good. Not a lot of people I hear rave about Frank's, but this was only the only buffalo sauce that didn't look like neon orange in the store. Like it was just kind of scary. So the next thing I got is my favorite Italian dressing. I'm gonna be making pasta salad. I got ranch dressing y'all, which I never get cause I do not like creamy stuff like this on my salad. I prefer Italian dressing or balsamic. I do not like stuff like this on my salads, but I love this. With wings and they didn't have anything smaller than this and this is the kroger brand so it's only like a dollar i didn't want to waste a lot of money on something i'm going to use probably once then i got a can of white and gold sweet corn for a seafood boil soup i'm gonna make uh, for the same dish i got crushed tomatoes no salt added i got a little can of tomato sauce i'm making sloppy joes i got some reduced fat because that's all they had Hopefully this isn't gross, but I got some reduced fat uh, feta cheese. I like the all fat. This stuff right here is like crack. I put this in my pasta salad. It has all kind of olives and peppers, and it's just bomb. You can also just put this on crackers. If you like olives, you'd love this. I got some Andouille Cajun-style sausage for that same soup. Pepperoni to doctor up a frozen pizza we're gonna have for the football game on Sunday, isn't it, babe? What's on Sunday? The 49ers? Yeah. yeah. Big game for the 49ers, so we're gonna have pizza and wings. So I bought a frozen pizza and we're gonna use these to doctor it up. I got one sweet onion, one yellow onion, one yellow bell pepper, one green bell pepper. I always have onions and bell peppers in this house because everything I cook has onion and bell peppers. This yellow one will probably go for my pasta salad. And I just, this is my favorite onion. Another question I got, I, I love when y'all ask me questions. Somebody asked me the question between a yellow, white, and sweet onion. A sweet onion is what they use, like if you have eaten onion rings, nine times out of 10, it's a sweet onion. It's not as a harsh flavor. The yellow onion is what you'll find like in a lot of soul food, stuff like that. This is a very, way more intense onion flavor and a white onion is what you would find like i live in california so when we have street tacos and stuff like that the cilantro and onion it's usually a white onion they use to me it's the same intensity uh, um intensity level 
as a yellow onion, but it's just a different flavor. But the yellow and white are more intense. The sweet onion, obviously the name is a little bit more sweeter. So that was my little Bill Nye the Science Guy moment. I love when you ask me questions. Um, I also got some mini peppers. Again, I just like to have peppers in the house. I'll cut these up in salads. I also use the different colors in my sloppy joes. So I got some petite red potatoes for that soup recipe. Got that, got that. I got some extra large white shrimp for babe. Because when I was going to make that sal uh, soup, I was just going to do like the with the sausage as far as the protein. But Tony loves shrimp, so it's a shrimp you know boil so why not put shrimp in it i mean a seafood boil so why not put shrimp in it so got those mainly for babe i got party wings for the buffalo wings i probably won't do both packs we'll just do one pack and have one on deck but they were on sale i got some ground turkey i got some tater tots to go with our what was i gonna say sloppy joes my bad and this is the pizza that I bought for the football game. And I'm just going to add more pepperonis and obviously seasoning. And then I got ice drinks. This is Tony's, one of her favorites, the strawberry lemonade. My new favorite is the watermelon and strawberry. And y'all don't even like watermelon, but this one is so good. And I restocked on our black cherry just because I drank both of them before Tony got a chance to even have one. And that's kind of greedy, so I got two more. Got some chips to munch on. That is my cast iron. I got some chicken stock for the soup and rainbow pasta. I think I have one more bag in the kitchen. So I'm gonna put this away and then I'll come back to show you what I got. Also, how much I paid in total. Okay, so the last thing is that I had were hamburger buns for the Sloppy Joes. Then we have this bread. It's really good. I don't know if I got this last time because there's only wheat and health, healthy multigrain. But it's only 40, yeah, 45 calories a slice, which is really good. Um, and Sara Lee, it's kind on the pricey side, but we're both uh, trying to watch what we eat a little bit more. So good find. Always got our eggs, our large cage-free range eggs. And the last thing I got were Pringles because I saw them and this was like an impulse buy. And I wanted to open them in the car, but I forgot. So, all of that, and I'm going to insert a picture of the groceries that I've just put away. And y'all, this whole thing, let me see, $131.37. And I saved on coupons $18.44. I promise you, like, had this been like what 2017 18 all this would have been like 60 dollars. like i didn't even get that much meat like i got shrimp but i mean there wasn't any steak or chow anyway if you like grocery hauls i do have a playlist of grocery hauls again i'll start doing these maybe just like once a month or if i go to like a specialty store just so you guys won't get bored with them but until next time